Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The minister with responsibility for information, Senator Sandra Fortner, says the cabinet decided to retain the board of the National Housing Trust because it did nothing wrong in purchasing the Ottomani property in Trelawney. But the mayor of Kingston, Angela Brown Burke, and the PNP councillor, Venetia Phillips, have taken the social media website Facebook to hit out against the NHD. Meanwhile, environmentalists are on their way out of the partnership for transformation forged by the government and stakeholders because of the handling of the Ottomani controversy. The head of the Jamaica Environment Trust, Diana McCauley, says Mrs. Simpson Miller's handling of the situation betrays the trust of those who have signed on to the partnership for transformation. Teachers at some bursa paid schools in the corporate area Manchester and Clarendon today staged a sit-in to press the Ministry of Education to pay retroactive sums owed to them. President of the Jamaica Teachers Association, Doran Dixon, says the teachers are frustrated by the unfulfilled promises. Taxpayers are being asked to fork out $2.9 billion to further bail out the cash-trapped JUTC. In the House of Representatives yesterday, it was revealed that taxpayers are being asked to fund the JUTC to the tune of $3.37 billion this fiscal year. In sports, a new running track is to be installed at the G.C. Foster College of Physical Education and Sports for the new athletic season. In your weather forecast, Thursday will be partly cloudy and windy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.